Yeah, and she's free. Okay, so today is the day for her to check the place out a little bit more. I have made fantastic progress on her front feet. Um, they're actually almost trimmed up to where I'd like them to be, but not quite. Uh, I haven't done anything with her back feet, but I'm okay with that for now. The front feet are the ones that needed the angles changed the most. Straight to Luke, eh? What a surprise. Luke says... Oh, and Roni, like synchronized poopins. There it is. Straight to Luke. No surprise whatsoever. He's a good looking boy. So he's going to want to say hello. Might do that today. Got to make a friend. He's the ambassador. As everybody knows, that's what the shirt says. That's who he is. So this is her first time in the arena. If you're new here, this is a BC Wildy. <clears throat> Meaning she's, uh, well, she's sort of feral off of some range somewhere in British Columbia. And uh, she was brought into a, um, my understanding, she was brought into an auction where she was skin bones. The meat man didn't even want her. And uh, a local place picked her up, started to put some food into her, and then her owner got her from there and has been spending the last six months putting some weight on her and uh, chitty chatting. Oop. Bye boys. And trying to figure out uh, what she knows and doesn't know in regards to being around people. And uh, for the most part, she doesn't know anything <laughs> or she didn't know anything. So she got halter training and a little bit of leading done. And from my understanding, that was the majority of things that were done and it was done right because she is a real sweetie. She's on high alert at the moment. Luke's still thinking, hmm, I'd like to say hi to her. So I might do that. But I kind of want her to move around a little bit and get used to the area. She's doing a lot of sniffing. She's very tall. She can really get that neck up there. She's got a very interesting shape. I actually had somebody post a similar horse on Facebook in response to my uh, picture that I had put up that looks just like her. Uh, other than they didn't, she didn't have the star on her forehead. And so uh, that was really interesting. He's really moved over here now. And Roni, he's rather interested. He says, I'll check that horse out. She's really good looking. She's, um... <laughs> oh, Luke. He definitely, uh, he needs to come out pretty soon. But I want her to uh, wander around a little bit. I might do a little bit of pushing just to get her to check the place out. Uh, but she is a big sweetie. 
getting her feet done was, um, well, kind of interesting. She's going to pick up a little bit here. I might need to go with her. Yep, we're moving. Oh. Um, and uh, it's really just a lot of uh, reassurance and resilience to have her trust that uh, having her feet picked up is not such a bad thing. And uh, it's the first time she's been trimmed in her life, from my understanding. It's good looking horse. Let's come on this way. Off she goes. Back to the back. Uh, her back feet aren't done because uh, she won't really pick them up properly from me yet, but keeping in mind it's been about 24 hours. I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh man, Luke's got to come out soon. Look at him. He's strutting and she's liking it. Although she might like Roni. Who knows? Where's he going? Why does he do that? And then he comes charging up. Right here he comes. Oh, prove me a liar. Thanks a lot. Hmm. Grace is over there eating. Yoka's eating. You see how um, one of the things that I was told about her was that she tends to kind of tune people out a little bit, and I see that a lot in her. So one of the things that I'll need to work on is having her. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with her a little bit. Whew. Well, there's the water bucket she's discovered. That's good. You definitely want her knowing there's water in here. Lot of smells. So it's good to let her kind of check the place out on her own first. Mr. Wild's gonna want to come in for sure. You can see these two are quite similar in sort of build and style. He's just like the male version. See? There she goes. Go with her a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of like an Arabian in a way, isn't she? She's got that tail going. Looks still interested. And I'd like her to pay attention to me a little bit here and there. She hasn't yet, even though I'm with her. I'm going with her. Spending time, trying to spend time with her. There we go. Hello. She says, nah, I'm good. I shall pay attention to horses more than humans. I'll try again. Oh, she's in out. I have to go with her. So it's good for her to be out. Check the place out a little. Sniff the smells. Sort of uh, put her own smell into the place. In a way. thinking a lot of things. David's here. He's come to watch in person. And my kid's on the trampoline up there. So she's watching that. We'll come up and we'll try to say hello again. Hello. Ah, we're out. I want to get a side shot of her actually moving along, see how she goes. She's got some energy to her. I look forward to seeing her running around a lot with the others. But here she is. Um, 
quite curious, quite, uh, what's the word, like, um, inquisitive. Inquisitive would be a good word for her, in that she, she appears to want to know stuff, wants to know things, and same thing when it came to trimming her feet. She was worried, but she's still sort of checking out to see, you know, if it's okay to do and what does it mean and all that. And in the end, she really came through. Very impressive. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, we're still going. Trying not to cut her off, trying not to have her driveline be cut off. I'd kind of like her to go to the other side of the arena a little bit, so I'll tend to kind of come this way and see if I can not really put pressure, but sort of be a... She doesn't want to be with near me anyways, so I might as well try and then have her go the way that I'd like her to. Well, there, oh, we almost had a little bit of draw. Nope, we lost it. So we gotta go with her again. We could probably get her going. Let's, uh, let's, if she starts moving, we'll jog with her in a second. Inquisitive towards the barrels. That's good. Some horses are oddly afraid of barrels. I'm actually shuffling a little noisy here. Hello. It's getting a bit better. Okay, she's off. Ooh, good. Going to the other side of the arena. I want to see that. Have her check that out. Noisy, noisy BC Wildies. So this time I'm cutting her off a little bit. There we go. And I'm just in this nice big space, we're essentially doing Liberty. And I want her to check in. I'd really like her to say hello a little bit. So I'll try to cut a bit. Maybe not a lot. Oh, there she goes. Back to Luke. He says, oh, I'll chitty chat with you. So come in again. As the humans that we are, because she's here for training, as well as uh, playtime. So we do a little bit of both. to go I just sort of hit my uh, leg a little bit ask her to pay attention because if you look if you watch this is the majority of this is me sort of following without any pressure so now I'm going to apply just a little bit so that she can understand but I'm not just a passenger. <laughs> She's got the moves. You know, I'd like her attention. It's really important to me. And she's got lots of space to get away. So she doesn't have to feel forced. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back to the back. Here we go. Liberty work is liberating that's for sure because sooner or later when you when you get a horse to say what do you want even just what do you want it's kind of nice especially compared to getting the opposite that's what i'm getting now she goes so we're just going corner to corner at the moment which is good it shows the weakness that we have as a relationship 
It's very weak right now. And uh, she's not interested in hanging around with me, which is unfortunate. But we'll keep asking because it's really important. It's important to me. I'm going to block, hand up, wave. Okay. And we both have a pause. I'm going to step, step again. Step one more time to the right, step forward, hand out. Oh, she lost me, or I lost her. Uh, wait, shift to the left, shift to the left, shift to the left. One more. Nope, lost. But not bad. Can't complain too much about that. She's right in the corner. I want her out. So I hit my leg just a bit. Back up, forward. Back up. I'm going to get ready to cut. So I'm cutting across at a diagonal instead of parallel. More diagonal. Away. Stop. We're blocking. We're almost there. She's almost there. I'm going to try again. One more time. Hello. She says, Luke's moving. What do I do? Luke's just telling Roni what to do, and Roni's telling Luke what to do. They both like to have a discussion about her. I'll try again. Nope. We lost that one. I'll try again. So don't worry about the barrel. I know everybody likes the barrels. I'll try again. Okay, back. I'll try again. Nope. She says, well, I give up on the barrel because you're too much of a pest. But I'm the best kind of pest there is. Okay, out of the corner. Back to the diagonal again. We're going to block. Oh, we get to meet at the barrel. I'm happy to meet at the barrel. She's off. Which is fine. But... Some might say, well, why do this? Well, because a horse wouldn't do any different. You know, they, they, they want something, they'll get something. She's gonna have herself a drink. It's fantastic. And so my idea too is the same, that I'll just keep this up. And I happen to be doing it on camera, so you guys are coming with me. But, okay, I'm gonna back up on the diagonal. So that's my rope, don't touch. Nope. She says I'm not interested. Okay, I'm gonna come around. Oh. That was uh that was a big no. So we'll keep trying. And here's where I think a lot of people that I've seen get this kind of wrong and you see a horse kick out at you and they're like well I'll chase them more you know I'll make their feet move I actually don't want that what I want is for her to stop so I gotta keep trying and we keep requesting A stop and a calm. It's pretty cool. It's always nice when horses run. It sounds good, feels good. You know? So try again. I can't have her challenge me though. Like when she turns and then lifts and comes up, if she'd continue to walk. I would have had to be a little bit loud. So I'm going to try to come around again. I want to say hello. Back up. Get ready to cut. She won't let me. She says, I'm way faster than you. And that's true. As human beings, we're too slow. 
So we have to rely on perseverance and patience. The faster I go, the faster she'll go. <laughs> I don't want her to go slow. I'm going to take it easy. So back up we go. She's getting there. Come around. Try again. Say hello. Do you remember that we're friends? She says, no. I don't remember that we're friends. So I'll just put a little bit of push on her there. And then I can come around because I can't greet her at the fence because she's on a fence. Come around again. Gotta create a friend. And uh, set some boundaries for our relationship. And if I were to give up, no, wait. She hasn't left. I'll just wait. She likes him. She says, how about a drink of water? It's a good drink of water. That's why we don't want to ambush them. If they're at all nervous, then we just hang out. Touch. Touch. That's not bad. She can learn that I just want to touch. Remember, I got to catch her again and bring her back in, so <laughs> I'd better figure out how to be a friend. So there's real purpose to this. It's like when I come in with a rope and a halter, I need to be able to get you. I don't want to play the catch it game. I've heard that she plays the catch it game. And I don't want to play the catch-it game. I want to play the Be My Friend game. There. There. Okay, we almost had it. Hang on. Let's try again. Okay, we got the top. Now she comes around. Oh, I almost had it. I hope she doesn't turn her whole body. So I might back off. There. I just want the other side of her face. There. I need the other eyeball. And then we can scratch that side. And get out before, while the getting's good. And that's it. And I've sort of taught her that when I approach, I want to do something kind of friendly. And that's it. <laughs> that's what I like about liberty work, is that she could leave at any time, she could kick at any time, she could do anything she wants anytime. She could stay if she wants. Oh, look at that. Let's ask again. There we go. Okay, it's a little softer and nicer. Don't chew on that, please. I'd like you not to chew. Don't be a chewer, please. Don't be a beaver. Okay, ask for the nose. Oh, she kept it. That's good. Get out. It wasn't perfect. We left on a uh, nose coming in situation. But she is a really cool horse. Like I said, front feet trimmed up, looking sharp. She can uh, wear her own feet down a little bit. Here, now, in this stand, like as I was mentioning, didn't want her out here until I got those front feet done. I'd like to get the back feet done. Just going for a roll. We're going to back up. Yeah, let's see how many thousands we've got. 1,000. Oh, come on. 2,000. Oh, 3,000. Come on, one more. Doesn't look good. Nope. Shake. Good shake. <laughs> Let's meet her at the front. There we go. Oh. Oh, no, we lost her. Okay, back. Uh, she's too interested in the other horses, but that's okay. We got lots of good touches and scratches in. She's had herself a roll. She's looking kind of comfy. We can back off a little. And I guess in the next video, we'll have uh, Mr. Luke out, the ambassador. 
I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. I'm let her wander off. First time of me not going with her. Off she goes. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be her and Luke.